What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and like they say, when it rains, it pours, as if on-field issues are not enough for this Boston Red Sox team. They have now added off-field injury issues as well, as it was announced yesterday by Heim Bloom in a press conference that both Chris Sale and James Paxton were injured on top of their other injuries, both being set back in their rehabs, and it is a huge burden to this team at this point to have Chris Sale and James Paxton injured and it just isn't a great look especially with the way the Red Sox are playing on the field. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go in depth into what those injuries are, how long it's going to set Chris Sale and James Paxton back and what this means for this Red Sox team because like I said it is not good but before we get into that if you are new here please consider hitting that subscribe button if you love red sox content we talk red sox almost every single day also make sure you guys are hitting that like button as well if you are newly subscribed or currently subscribed liking these videos is the best way to help this channel out and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one let's get into it Let's start with Chris Sale first, who, if you don't remember, suffered from a rib stress fracture at the beginning of spring training that kept him out at least until June or late May. As of yesterday, Hein Bloom announced that there was another personal medical issue that Chris Sale suffered from during this last couple of weeks that is preventing him from coming back in that time frame. Now, no one really knows what that medical issue is. He did say it was non-COVID related, so I believe a lot of people are speculating it's an illness or something like that and not a physical medical issue because if it was a physical medical issue they probably would have announced what it was so the fact that they are saying it is a personal medical issue is more than likely something to do with the virus or something like that again they did say it was not COVID-19 but what this does mean is that Chris Sale is now out for another couple of weeks like I said when we first talked about this that it was either late May or early June was his timetable to come back that is now late June, early July. Not good news for the Red Sox. As for James Paxton, Paxton suffered from posterior elbow soreness, which set back his recovery process a little bit. Heimblum led us to believe that it was not as serious as Chris Sale's setback was, but James Paxton was supposed to start throwing bullpens, live bullpens in the month of May. Specifically early May is what he said to the media. He also stated that he feels like he could come back before the all-star break and Bloom said that that's probably not likely now with the fact that he has this posterior elbow soreness so again don't think it's as serious as Chris Sale's injury but it is definitely a setback in the road to recovery for James Paxson. What does this mean for the Red Sox? Well the first is that Chris Sale is officially injured again right he's been injured almost every single season since 2018. The big question with this one is that we don't know what it is. It could have been a million different things and we don't know how it's going to affect him in the long run. Obviously, he will still come back at some point, but whether or not he comes back and is the same Chris Sale anymore is a different story. We don't know how this injury is going to affect the way he pitches and approach things. We don't know what the injury is, so we cannot assume what it's going to do to Chris Sale in the long run. That's the first big effect for the Red Sox is that your supposed ace, the ace that you are spending the money on, is now injured and we don't entirely know. Obviously, Obviously the Red Sox do know, but we don't entirely know how that personal medical issue is going to affect them in the long run. The big effect I think this will have on the Red Sox is not actually on the rotation itself, but on the bullpen. Adding Chris Sale and James Paxton into this rotation adds a lot of flexibility to the bullpen. You now have two guys, because you have to make room for them, that either go to the pen or get sent down who you can bring up and put down and add some flexibility to this pen that's super needed right now. Right now, this bullpen is terrible. And we'll get into more as to why it's terrible in our next recap video, probably later on today. But adding that flexibility is super important to a bullpen that is being overused at this point. They are getting drove into the ground and they are so 
suffering heartbreak after heartbreak of their own making, and that's got to take a mental toll on a bullpen as well. The hope was that James Paxton or even Chris Sale coming back added a long relief option to the bullpen that would eat some innings that is used to eating innings and won't get as worn down as the rest of the bullpen would. It would also allow for the bullpen to recover and sort of regroup and get better as the year goes on. The obvious other effect to this Red Sox team that having Paxton and Sale out for longer effects is the rotation. The rotation up until this point has been close to as perfect as perfect can get in terms of keeping this Red Sox team in almost every single game. I think there were two or three games this year where the Red Sox, even if they scored a ton of runs, probably weren't winning that game. But for the most part, each game ends up, you know, ends up either in extra innings or it ends up one or two runs above or below for either side. So the Red Sox pitching staff has been close to perfect this year, and they already have a ton of pressure because of this offense, who is just simply not performing to keep games close. So add the pressure on that you're going to have to be perfect until Chris Sale or James Paxton gets back. And that is now longer. That is a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on a rotation. So could they end up cracking under that pressure at some point? They definitely could. And that is a factor with these injuries to Chris Sale and James Paxton. The Red Sox plan going into the season was that Chris Sale would have a relatively quick recovery. I think most of the Red Sox staff and the reason Bloom didn't entirely fix this team, he mostly band-aided it, was because of the idea that Chris Sale was going to be back in sometime in May, right about now, probably, and James Paxton was going to be back before the All-Star break, so band-aided until then, tread water until we get them back, and now it is even further along the road. If I'm the Red Sox right now, I am in full panic mode. Clearly things are not going to plan and you are losing ground quickly. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these updated injuries. Do you think it is going to have a bigger impact on the Red Sox than I said? Do you think it'll have less of an impact on the Red Sox than I'm talking about right now? What do you think of Chris Sale at this point? He has been consistently injured since 2019 and I'm at the point now where I'm getting really concerned with the money that we paid him. Let me know all your thoughts down below. As always, if you've made it to the end of this video, do me a favor, make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you've not already. Like I said, Red Sox content almost every single day, so if you like that kind of thing, you love this channel. Also, make sure you guys are hitting that like button as well. It helps out these videos a ton and would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the next one.